It's the Web Division Championship match featuring Jay Rush, Jody Rushton versus Putts, Dave Dillard, Golden Team Mobile, the league season 22 finals. This is sure to be a solid battle between these two great players. Putts ran the division in season 22, averaging 2.60 points per match, the number one seed in this finals match. But let's see what Jay Rush has in store. He was the number three seed this season. Should be a good match here on Teal Gardens. Hello, everybody. I am Chad Shrump. Very happy to present this match. Love showing you some of the other players in our group, and that was an absolute beauty. 8,000 GSP very early in this match. So we get things off very well. A grabber into this green. Just one hop right over the cup. Pulls in nicely. Nice shot by Rush. Jody rushed in. Here is Putts. And Dave will knock in his putt. Rush will clean this one up. And we're tied after one here on Teal. Love presenting these matches, players that don't often get seen. But this is what we like to talk about. Every division has the right players in it. If you decide you want to play Golden Team Mobile, the league, we will find the division for you with very similar skill sets, a division for every player. Both players are off the tee. Here is Jay Rush into this par four. Another grabber, and that looks nice, but a little short. So that should be an easy one to clean up for Jay Rush. Here's Putts going with the sniper. It's going to be a little bit left, but it's fine. So both players will have pretty simple putts. First one's in for putts. And Jay Rush also in the hole, so still tied. After two, very early here in this Web Division Championship match. That needs to go. And it does. Sneaks onto the green. Very well judged by Putts. Here's Jay Rush. A big sweeping shot. That is well executed as well. Two different ways to skin the cat on hole number three. Drivable par four. Both players will eagle. Nicely done. Nicely done. There are players in other divisions that can sometimes struggle with that shot. Both players handle that with ease. Par three, maybe GSP, no. Here's another grabber. That seems to be a ball used quite often in the lower divisions. And that's the problem with the grabber. That is the problem with the grabber. If you do not execute the shot perfectly and get on this green, it will start doing that. There is a chance that Sniper might have sat down on that shot. And that was a nice recovery, but it looks like Putts is going to get two strokes here on hole number four. He will. That's a bogey for Jody Rushton. Dillard will move ahead by two, and as we talked about, he absolutely ran over the Webb division. Uh-oh. Oh, my. That was very close to being a problem for putts. Now, here is Jay Rush. He does just sneaks it past that fringe. It will roll to a stop. Should have a big bender. Now, what? can putts do from there you can't really do much you just got to lay this thing up in the fairway and get on in three it is a par five a chance for jay rush to get a stroke back that needs to go that will be a chip for eagle now here is putts let's see if he can make a good shot here he will float that in sniper settles and that's in there all right here is the chipper on the way, and he just slides it to the right. Jay Rush tried to get a stroke back from Putts, unable to do so, so Putts will maintain a two-stroke lead going into hole number six, drivable par four. Sniper on the way. That needs to hurry up. 
And that is trouble. That is trouble. So putts will give up potentially a stroke or two. Here is Jay Rush. Get this over the water. Go, 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 no, 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 no. There's so much room to the right. Look at all that green. Aim for the right. Aim for the lack of trouble. That needs to go. Okay, just gets that over the concrete. Here is a big chip on the way, and that will settle in. That's going to be a par. So two pars here on hole six. Jay Rush and Putts, both par. The drivable par four landing in the little water, the retainer. And that was trouble. Onwards. Hole seven, par three, sniper into this green. I love when this pins in the back because it's a good time to use that javelin. Just land it onto the green, let it run out. It's a down three. It will feed to the hole. Both players go the safe route here and hit that sniper. Good putt in for Jay Rush. Here's putts. He makes his as well. And we still have a two-stroke lead for putts. Par five, eighth hole. Micah Middleton. It's his favorite hole in all of Golden Tee Mobile. Who can forget the shot against Munts Beats that put Micah into the world championship two years ago? Hold this shot out. Teal Garden hole eight. What a moment. Here is the approach in that needs to hurry up. That needs to hurry up. I don't know if this is enough either. I don't know if this is going to get all the way to the hole. It does. That was a really nice one. The five wood did its job. A chance for Jay Rush to get up a stroke, and he's going to. So Putz is going to give one back to Jay Rush. He birdies. And Rush eagles. And we have narrowed this lead. A one-stroke lead going into nine. Jay Rush takes honors. And this should land on the green. It does. That is a long, long, long putt. Get over that. Oh, look at the bounce. Look at the bounce. A members-only bounce for putts. Jay Rush with a 83-footer on the way, and he misses to the right. Let's see if Putts can get his stroke back that he gave up. Here is his flop onto the green. So both players are going to birdie the drivable par four. Not an easy setup whatsoever. Putts almost provided a hell of a shot for us. Just cleared the bell, hit the top of the wood, and bounced onto the green. Almost had a puttable condition, had a chip from the sand. Now we move on to the par 5 10th hole. One stroke lead for putts in what's been a very nice match between these two. This is the Web Division Championship match. The playoffs. Season 22 Golden Tee Mobile. The league. That is a Jim Dandy shot there. Great shot points. 8,000 points on the board. If we're tied after 18... No, great shot points won't decide this match. We will play another back nine. The first player to win a hole will win the match. So it is sudden death if we have to go to a back nine. That is deep. That is deep. Jay Rush needs to drop this, and that is not going to go in. Putts is going to make this putt in here a moment as he pointed. And it's going to get back to a two-stroke lead. So he gave one up on hole, I believe, seven or eight. It was hole eight because he hit that nice five-wood grabber in there. Um, Rush did, but Putz gets his stroke back. There is Putz. He was a little bit short on that. Rush is going to be a little more aggressive. That's wet. Hit that too far. Javelin went a long, long way. And just did not sit down for him. That should be a manageable par putt from the fringe. Oh, goodness. Putts, you were saved. There is a bit of a lip on the back side of that fringe, and it saved him. And he makes his par save. So, 
We thought Rush was going to go down by three, but Putts missed his putt. And it's still a two-stroke lead. We are into the back nine here on Teal Gardens. Both players going, uh-oh, this is going to kick left. And that is going to be difficult to get onto the green. We'll probably need a ranger from there. I'm not sure why we didn't try to go for the green. I'm not sure why we did not look at a ranger and get on that green. Will this get there? This is going to be really close. And it does. Good shot. Lands it on the green. That will be an eagle putt for putts. Jay Rush suddenly struggling. Gets it onto the back of the green. He will have a downhill putt for birdie, although it is a long look. 47 feet on the way, and he is dead center. Beautiful putt from Jody. Dave makes his eagle and goes up three. Putts, three-stroke lead, six holes to go, par three. Here is Putts. Sniper, safely on. He is all over the hole. He is peppering the hole with snipers at the moment. He might be related to Barrett Detterman. A lot of snipers currently happening stay there jody and he just does and he misses the putt you got to hit that a little harder than 27 percent or account for more break so that will be another stroke loss and now putts is starting to cruise a four stroke lead as we move on to the par five just sits this 98%, should find the fairway, no issues whatsoever. And that will be a good look in for putts. That's a nice throw it out to the left shot for Jody. He will have a good look in as well. I think you can, this is one of those shots where a javelin would be so nice here. Just line that up with the flag. But well-executed shot from Jody. You can tell a lot of these guys don't use a lot of the special equipment. Much more comfortable with the grabbers. That was a nice shot from Putts. Using incredible technologies, world's engine for these matches, you are upgraded automatically to insider clubs and all of the specialty balls and tees you can use. But if you're not comfortable using that equipment, I understand why you'd want to hit a grabber on some of these holes, even though the javelin is available to you. I understand the thought process there. Just think that shot into the green would have been much simpler, a chance for a hole out the other way, and this is going to kick left. That's going to be in the sand. So Jody's going to have to throw this out to the right. This par 5 is going to play as a par 5. We'll take three shots to get on. Needs to hustle. That needs to hustle. I think the naked ball would have been a good choice there. That would have kept carrying and would have run out. Jody will throw a sniper around. I think he's going to have a chip from there, and he will. So a chance for birdie for Rush, but putts. Bingo. That was Eagle, and here's the chip for birdie for Jay Rush. And this is going sideways now. Putts is absolutely in the driver's seat. Had an unbelievable season 22 in Golden Tee Mobile, the league, the web division. And it looks like he is going to take a double championship, the regular season title, and he should also win the playoff championship. Although that was a little left. So a chance for Jay Rush that needs to hustle. Get up. Yep, that's wet. That is wet, and we're looking probably best-case scenario at a bogey. We'll see where they place him. This is going to be a long putt down the hill. Does not hit it firmly because he does not want to go wet again. Chip here for putts for birdie. Just slides it past. Good effort. A par will do the job here on this hole as Jay Rush will bogey. And Putz gets his birdie, so he increases his lead. Two to play, a seven-stroke lead now for one Dave Dillard. Under the bell, beautifully struck. Let's see if Jay Rush has that shot in his arsenal. He does not. He is going to swing 
for the fairway and we'll lay it up and we'll be playing this par four trying to get his birdie there is a nice sniper in so that's going to be a birdie for rush jody rushton there is dave dillard increasing his lead now up by eight or nine strokes by eight last hole drivable par four Putts, Maniacs, that should be well short, and that's going to fall back into the water. Dave, I've seen better efforts from you today. That was not a great one. But when you're up as big as you are, I think you could probably do that three or four more times, and you're still going to win. Here is Jody. He slices this. That is also wet. Might be limping to the finish line here in the Web Division Finals. But it's been fun. Love showcasing these players that don't often get showcased. Here is a chip up and just short. Really nice effort. That will be for par. This should be on the green as well. That will also be for par. Here's Jody. His putt is good. Great season. Third place regular season takes second place in the playoffs, but this season has belonged to Dave Dillard. Putts, a convincing eight-stroke victory on Teal. He is your Web Tournament Champion Season 22 in the books. Thank you for watching. We will see you all later.